But this is a sort of a police report. Uh, I am asking Federal Bureau investigation and I am asking British police to inquire about crime British royals have committed themselves to. Setting my life aside, my father spent the last few years with injections literally given into his eyes so that he could see. Uh, I was surprised to note that my father would have to go and get injections into his eyes. Uh, because, especially because his eyes probably was the best, uh, part of his body were his eyes. If anything was worthy than his body, it was his eyes. His eyes, it's not coming from me, but it's coming from the people that knew him his entire life. People that surrounded him, not necessarily that I would endorse these people, that, that I would have any kind of compassion for them whatsoever, because they did a lot of harm to me anyways. This family is ruined badly, thanks to these British royals, thanks to Central Intelligence Agency, thanks to American government, which have refused to, to take necessary steps to protect me foremost and what consequently have contributed to a great misfortune of the family but my father was complimented by so many people hunting people hunters he was hunter his entire life and he was a fisherman his entire life his fishing buddies when None of us could possibly see any more the floats on the river. Uh, my father would still be capable to let everyone know when fish have bitten uh, at whosoever party, you know. And I'm stricken with the British royals because of their irresponsibility, because of malicious character. Uh, they tortured me for no less than 26 years. They destroyed, they ruined my image behind my back. And not behind my back, because they would use MK Ultra, uh, but literally were using the methods that would make one feels special and behind it all they were doing something completely different literally to murder and so in this case here it really doesn't matter whether it was Prince Charles who repeatedly insisted me in 2018 in 2019 in 2018 whether I want my father blinded. That I remember was done in Slovenia. There is uh, maybe 99% chance it was a Slovenian police officer who had done this. It might have been Slovenian prosecutor, attorney who have done this to either video record or to maliciously represent Prince Charles. Slovenian police did not fuck with the royals. They didn't play with the, with the US presidents or anything like this. It was everything done through authorization. Nobody else had access to, they had uh, what appeared to me silicon mask from Prince Edward, they had a silicon mask from Prince Charles, but 
Prince Edward was not in the picture anywhere. The one in the picture was um, most likely a silicon ask, mask of Prince Charles, through which an individual insisted me over and over, heavy stuff, 2017, 2018, that he finally decided that I am more important to him than my father. Uh, you're talking about several sessions, MK Ultra torture sessions, uh, torture to unconscious. during which he repeatedly regarded me with the issue of my father, with the issue of blindness. With the issue of blindness. Blindness, blind, blindness. Do you, do you want this? Do you want that? My father played extremely malicious character during MKUltra. He created uh, great misfortune for himself to himself. However, importantly to note here is that Slovenian police have taken, most likely Slovenian police, I don't think it was Prince Charles, I don't think Prince Charles would go in Bergen for the stuff like this. All through, it's a question. The question opens up because of Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman was, no, this is British, movie maker, producer, and this guy was involved since 1995 in crime. This man was involved in, in crime since 1995. Now, my father really had a problems he does yes. have his a character. He, um, he committed himself to crime Could during MK Ultra. Uh, but a scenario from this movie here that you see, you can clearly see the man is blind. Thank God. Uh, at least is having uh, terrible problems with the vision. My father knew about this movie. My father lambasted me because of this movie. MK Ultra started in 1995. I would not return to Slovenia for 11 and a half consecutive years. I would stay in the United States, would not exit the United States, with exception to maximum three occasions to my ex-wife to Ecuador, to South America for a visit. That's all there was. In fact, Central Intelligence Agency abducted me over and over again to also other continents than uh, Europe. All over Eastern Europe is where they had me, Western Europe, all over the world. My father agreed to play in the future a role of Mason Verger. I watch this movie briefly. I don't like movies like this. It don't appeal to me. Um, Mr. Gary Oldman, in case you're not familiar, this individual from London here, uh, pointed me out that based on his observation, he created a character of Mason Verger because he is, my father is a criminal, definitely has got a rotten character, uh, but that this is not such a terrible criminal, and example me that kind of stuff, that is like a level of criminal that would go and bribe children with a candies to do to him some sexual favors and stuff like that. What he referred to as a pity criminal compared to myself. Those are the words to me, literally from this London producer 
Gary Oldman that you see right here in the picture. Um, when it comes to me, however, he referred to me as a horrific criminal, far worse than Mason Berger, because of my whereabouts under MK Ultra in Italy, um, on other locations that, uh, that I destroyed people mentally and stuff like this. Hollywood criminals, actors, who just come up with all kinds of idea about cancer they got because of me, that it was all kinds of political stuff that I destroyed people, that rejecting people, I sentenced people to death and all kinds of shit like this. And so to me, this individual by the name Gary Oldman have a signed character of Hannibal. This is what it was. Now, Gary Oldman appeared was a supporter of Barack Obama. That's exactly what appears Prince Harry is also a supporter of Barack Obama and on general when I go over the situation it was Prince Andrew, it was Prince Charles, those are the real people because one thing is whatever happened here all through you got to admit that somebody took a very very close note of the crime that took place already this Hannibal movie already started sometimes in 1998. They started to work on this project 97, 98. They released this in um, in what, 2000 or 2001 or whatever. Somebody took a very, very extremely, extremely close note of this stuff. This individual, this Gary Oldman, this individual is from London. Both Prince Charles and Prince King now, King, uh, uh, Prince uh, uh, Prince Andrew, now King Charles, uh, claimed me having possession American lawyer who's going to help me out. And when I ask who is this lawyer, they refer to Barack Obama. But the thing about it is that this is a subject for discussion because I think these people play either way. Especially because of what I see here, this picture here, and this picture here. At least for this picture, Prince Harry suggested me it will be the day when he's going to have to part from Chelsea Davy, And it will be for my sake. Yeah, it will be for my sake. Um, how can I say when I said earlier about Barack Obama... I'm sure you're aware that in his age 21 already, this individual posed as a neo-Nazi. This, he will never say that he was, this was for my sake or anything like this. Because when he was 17, 16, uh, as a matter of fact, I got to see sent to rehabilitation. Okay. This here, basically, I'm going to tell you, people ask why didn't he uh, 
got his degree or something like this. Because this was uh, trash back in his day. I'm not saying this is what it's today, but I don't think he got much further from what I stated. He was at age 17, and Harry was as violent as anybody possibly could be violent. He was a violent duck, a regular criminal. And you know what happened? Charles sent him to rehab. Started with alcohol, and his alcohol habits, you can see them actually here. This was just a still. No longer 17, but when I look at his nose right there, this is this is a drunk talking right there. Moving with that finger right there, who actually even death threatened me on occasion. He death threatened me. Uh, it's because of me that he is parting from Chelsea Davy and this and that. For this picture also, for his Nazi picture, he also claimed that he did this for me and stuff like this. This is this is a pure bullshit. Uh, I don't think this boy ever knew anything other than to lie. He's a psychopath. Simple. I don't like his death threats. I'm not going to say I take them seriously. Uh, however, my father is blind. My father's life is coming to an end much due to blindness. Somebody was paying a very, very close attention. Now, if you ask me, if you ask me about Prince Harry and Meghan Merkel, I think he's dating one for all the wrong reasons. Barack Obama might be their lawyer, might be in bed with his people, but the thing about it is that this picture remains for me more real about who Harry is than anything else. Okay. Um, I'm surprised to see this picture. I'm surprised to see a picture like this pop up now. I'm surprised to see this here pop up. It's about Meghan Merkel being depressed and so on for something that, ah, oh, there you go, for something Harry told me it's going to be, it will all depend based on my writing on a laptop and so on and so forth. Uh, and again, if I'm going to make his wife miserable and stuff like this, again, I will kill you. Um, you know, Harry is 38. He exercised a lot of violence under MK Ultra and a whole a lot of death threats. I'm going to tell you like this. I'm going to tell you straight. Uh, how much these death threats are realistic? There is some pictures with, uh, literally with, uh, with a Megan holding a laptop and acting all depressed and so on. Um, I'm going to put it this way. Regardless of how much his death threats are realistic, these people destroyed to me 28 years of life. My father ended up 
blind literally with a stroke in the hospital something much to what he alone cost to himself and this way please this way and this way please Actually, to be honest with you, I actually thought we were just going on a date night, so I found it quite weird that we're sharing the room with 1,500 people. Um, um, Mr. Harry, during MK Ultra, rehearsed the crime. This, through my eyes, is a crime because he had me in presence of the lady that you see re right there at Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights Session. Not in the presence of the people. However, he interpreted to me a future, what you see here, obviously a scenario for his public appearance at Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights. Referring to 1,500 people is what's going to be. That's what he stated to me in front of that lady that you see right there. It's going, it's going to be your laptop transmitting the porn you watch on your laptop. This is an extremely abusive criminal individual. But this video is not about this criminal. This is about other issues. This is about this issue here that you see. It was my, my father is blind. You can't take that away. Close to blind. Individual involved in this crime was Gary Oldman. People who contributed to his blindness, and that's my father. People who ruined my life. People who endangered family. Today, I wrote about this issue here. It was nothing but steering shit. It was nothing but causing problem with these people. They didn't stop short of anything. They campaigned for the stuff that Many people who participated in MKUltra greatly have rejected. Therefore, the only thing they were doing, they were intensifying on every step away, they were intensifying crime against me and my family. They were polarizing the family. These people literally ruined my life. Not only through the forced unemployment using Central Intelligence Agency to block me on a job market in the United States of America, Never mind the hijacking and torture under MK Ultra. They managed to put me inside of the psychiatric hospital with the idea to destroy me completely. And it appears they are not done anywhere with their crime in respect to me and in respect to my family. So, at this point, and this opportunity, I am asking you for you to take necessary steps to protect my life and life of my family. British royals should be due to law, should be due to police investigation, just like any other individual. They are not exempt from loss, they're not exempt from police investigations. And even if these people in Slovenia used these silicon masks, insisting to me how they're going to do crime to my father in respect to his eyes, It was obligation of the British royals 
As a matter of fact, excuse me, it's obligation, it's your obligation of the British authorities. I did not notify you earlier, but I'm notifying you now, and a Central Intelligence Agency, to take all steps necessary to stop this crime now. You're not going to take away eyes you took, eyesight you took away from my father. It was, it was American Democrats, it was, it was Barack Obama, it was Eric Holder, uh, whom Gary Oldman represented at the time, but I, as I stated, British Royals alone affiliated themselves with Obama. They alone have affiliated themselves with Barack Obama. Even that I do not believe they represent that option. They did affiliate themselves in front of me with Barack Obama. They did. When you're in a, such a high position, when you're in a, such a prestigious position, You have to be count. You have to be held accountable for that. You have to be held accountable for crime. British royals presented me a variety of issues they're gonna encounter because of me. Um, Prince Harry claimed is gonna disappear. It's gonna be through whatever fake assassination or whatever, and it's gonna be all my fault. His father, Charles, insisted he's only going to be there for like year two, just so he gets my case resolved for the sake of Prince William, who's going to inherit the chair. They claim that I contributed to their alcohol habits, which entire family had since from forever, before I got on the picture in 95. They claimed... My writings hurt Queen Elizabeth. However, they relentlessly continue to torture in Great Britain whenever I was delivered for torture to Great Britain behind the walls of Buckingham Palace and all other palaces they owe through the Britain and also in Canada. Something they commenced in 1995. I hate to say, but these people, for me, these people for me are killers. They are not solution. They are not source of help, assistance of any kind. These people hired Slovenian police to do crime against me. They claim they need to protect me, whatever. Slovenian police, however, have done enormous amount of damage. They vandalized, they destroyed my property, they ruined my life. With false testimonies with all sorts of crimes. I'm asking Central Intelligence Agency to take the necessary steps to protect life of American citizen whom you have used for your socio-economic global agenda for no less than 28 years. You butchered me for 26 years with MK Ultra. You tortured to unconscious. You sleep deprived and you tortured. Now you need to do something for me. You need to stop these criminals from destroying me and my family completely. I don't know about the British police because it's to me, I don't know. It's surreal, it's weird that I wouldn't have a British police contacting me, expressing interest, concerns about this case. But I'm not a citizen of Great Britain. I'm not a citizen of the United Kingdom. That's why I'm inquiring about assistance to American authorities foremost in this case. Nobody is exempt from the law. Bank robber, 
when robbing bank is just a bank robber. It's not a royalty. You are what you do, the worst, whatever you do. If you rob bank, nobody's going to ask you if you're a royalty. You're just a bank robber. And it goes like this with all other crimes. That's where it all starts. And it's, that's where it all ends. Yeah. These people threatened on consequences. They suffer because of me. They didn't mind. They didn't care about what they did to deserve that. A fact of the matter, fact is, they ruined my life and they ruined my life. They ruined my family's life. Lives. One way or the other. It doesn't matter if it's a police officer here from Slovenia that did this. They play with this silicon mask, whatever it is. British royals knew about all this stuff. It matters not. It doesn't matter. 